Well, hello everyone. So what am I up to today? Well, I have bought a new laptop and this is it. And I, from time to time I have people ask me what kind of computer do I use to uh, do my video. So I actually am going to put this on here. This is a on my blog, TonyLeeGlenn.com, the computer I use to edit uh, Premiere Pro CC. Of course, there's a lot of just, I, I do my GoPro videos and stuff on here too. And there's a lot of ads and things on here. Actually, here's somebody that competes with me to do digital video. Not that I really go for it, but there you go. But here are all my uh, specs for my desktop PC, which is a custom designed one with a, a, a solid state hard drive and, and 32 gigs of RAM, which is pretty sweet, but still everything that's in it's less than $2,000, which is pretty pretty nice uh, bargain. But this one I bought right off the shelf, and it is a satellite, Toshiba satellite with a Core i7 inside. I was trying to see if I could see what model it is here. It has this Harman card. And I guess it's a satellite uh, S55T series. And so it only has 12 gigs of RAM. But I have installed the new, uh, the newest versions of Premiere Pro and Photoshop and all that. So P-R-E-M. I still have to get used to this whole... Uh, uh, you know, what do you call it? Windows 8 environment. I've still been using Windows 7 for a long time. And the thing is pretty cool. I'm going to actually edit this very video that I'm working on right now with Premiere Pro CC 2014, which has just been released not too long ago. Didn't even realize it had been released until last night. And it's going to be the first time I've done, I've never been able to do video on a laptop before. I've always had like four gigs of RAM or something, but this one came stock from staples this particular satellite bought it about let's say two months ago so far it seems to be a pretty nice little setup and it looks like it's going to run premiere pro cc and i'm going to try to edit this very video that i'm doing here and i'll let you know how it goes i'm going to try to even do a snag it type thing with it and see if it uh, will let me capture my snag it for the second part of this little video here we go okay so i'm doing a little small recording here of uh uh, so the snag it will fit onto my screen. Looks like all the editing will work. Uh, tilde key here. Looks like uh, we hit play. The, the GoPro video plays smoothly. I shot this at 30 frames per second, 1080p. It's looking pretty nice. I'll hit the tilde key to get back out. And I see I already added a uh, cross dissolve here to cross dissolve out at the end. I've added some brightness contrast over here to the effects. So. Uh, yeah, it's looks like it's processing everything pretty quick. Looks like this little 12 uh, gig uh, of RAM PC will actually get the job done for doing some video editing. I have reduced the size of my screen really well here, so I could just uh, shoot a small video that I can can uh, get my Snagit to work with. So this is a kind of reduced size image, and Snagit's recording at 10 frames per second. So we'll include this in our video. And yeah, let me do a quick little render. So what do I have here? About two minutes and nine seconds. Let's see how long it takes to render this video out. File, we'll say export. Uh, export I'm going to export media. And you can't see what I've got on screen here. I could reduce it, I guess. Uh, maybe I can. Not going to let me. Ah, it's aggravating. Thought it would let me do that a little smaller. I'm going to do a, not an AVI, but I'm going to do a H.264. And we could say match source, that'd be okay, I guess. And so, uh, let me see what I want to do here. 1080p, 2997 progressive. They're giving me a 10 and 12 meg per second. Yeah, I guess let's try that a little more, 12 to 14. And my audio is going to be, if you could see that, AAC 320 kilobyte per second looks pretty good. So I'm going to do an export on this. I wish it would let me shrink that screen down, show you what my settings are, but it's not going to let me. So I am going to say, where am I going to go with this? That looks like a good place to go. GoPro test, save, and export. So I'm actually, I've got um, a snag it recording as I'm doing this export. And yeah, so it looks like two minutes and eight seconds with some effects added and, some tra and one, one transition uh, is gonna take, gee, that's pretty good. 
So about probably a minute and 25 seconds or so for every minute to render out. And of course, if I'd added a lot more uh, effects for something, that would take even longer. But I'm just, it's just interesting to see that this does actually get it done. I was somewhat skeptical that because of the RAM limitations that this little uh, laptop would, would take care of it. So this is the Satellite S55T series. S55T, it does have USB 3, uh, sleep and charge, it says, Harman Kardon speakers, and the speakers do sound pretty nice, it says with DTS Studio Sound, a Core i7 inside, I'm not sure what kind of Core i7, maybe I can find that and put the specs in the, um, in the uh, description of this video. So, I'm doing a demo of the video of the uh, computer <laughs> this is all GoPro video <clears throat> what I'm recording here with my Snagit is like I say a much smaller window what I tried I tried doing full window with Snagit and then I would lose my Snagit controls and I couldn't turn it off I had to actually go do a control alt delete to turn it off so I had to reduce the size of my premier window so I could see the on and off uh, controls for my Snagit so this would probably render out even faster if Snagit were not also recording to my hard drive. Pretty nice performance for this little uh, this little laptop. It should be said that you are also at this time hearing the, the way that the microphone sounds on this little laptop. It looks like our render is finished. So I'm going to stop here and we'll incorporate this back into our other video. It did not take long at all.